Yesterday, we started again with point of view, how the author thinks or feels about something, and you started on a point of view worksheet. So let's go over and check them. Hopefully you were able to do that. Now let me share my screen. There we go. And again, author's point of view is how someone thinks or feels about a situation or an event. Like we said yesterday about the teacher and the students running in the hall. The teacher's point of view is it's not safe. The kid's point of view is I just like to run and I'm in a hurry, right? So we figured out this was Fido and we used our clues barking and my owner. So let's read the rest of them and check your work. Ding dong. I opened my eyes wondering if I should go get the door or try to go back to sleep. Just as I decided to try to sleep, Fido started barking loudly. Ugh, I groaned as I climbed out of bed. I headed for the front door just in time to see Adia taking a package out of the poster worker's hands. This was my last stop of the day. I couldn't wait to get home to eat dinner. I climbed the steps and rang the doorbell. A long haired dog ran to the window and started barking loudly at me. Excuse me, be quiet, I heard a girl whisper. Mom's trying to sleep. The barking stopped as a brown haired girl opened the door. She signed for the package I had brought her. Finally, I could head home. I wasn't sure about this one, but this one my clues are pretty obvious. It was my last stop of the day. I climbed the steps and rang the door. Are you gonna ring the doorbell at your own house? Probably not. Um, let's see. She signed for the package I had brought her. Finally, I could head home. That one should have been pretty obvious. Mailman. All right. Now we're gonna read the last package. <laughs> Passage, excuse me. And then we're going to use our clues to figure out <clears throat> which one's mom and which one's Adia. I had just finished my homework when I heard the doorbell ring. Fido le leapt up, leapt off the couch, ran to the window and started barking. Be quiet. Mom's trying to sleep, I told Fido. Fido crept back to the couch and I, as I opened the door. The postal worker was standing at the door waiting for me to sign for a package. Hmm. Well, let's see. I just finished my homework. And she says, mom is trying to sleep. Mom's not gonna say, mom is trying to sleep. The kid is, right? Mom's trying to sleep, I told Fido. And the postal worker was waiting for me to sign for a package. Remember in this one, it says the brown haired girl signed for the package. This one says I was signing for the package. So who was that? That point of view is Adia. So let's double check to make sure the, mom, the last one is mom. Ding dong, I opened my eyes wondering if I should go get the door or try to go back to sleep. Just as I had decided to try to sleep, Fido started barking loudly. Ugh, I groaned as I climbed out of bed. I headed to the front door just in time to see Adia taking a package from the postal worker's hand. So Adia is taking the package from the postal worker. So we know, yep, that is mom. So hopefully you were able to figure those out. Sometimes doing that is a lot of fun, I think anyways. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice with one more passage and then you're gonna have a discussion post for one independently. Okay, so follow along. Kids struggle with having to balance school activities like sports and home life. So should they have to do chores on top of everything else? After all, they are only kids. They should just worry about school, but I disagree. Chores teach children how to be responsible citizens and set them up for a successful future of having to be independent. Chores also give kids a sense of accomplishment and makes them feel as if they are part of a team as they see their mom or dad doing daily chores around the house too. I think it's very important to teach children how to have responsibility and to pitch in around the house. Question one, what is the author's point of view on children having to do chores? What do you think the author thinks about kids doing chores? Well, let's go back and find some clues. Chores teach children how to be responsible, 
how to be independent, giving a sense of accomplishment, feeling as part of a team. How do you think the author feels about chores? The author thinks kids should do chores. Okay, and what is the evidence from the text to support it? Well, all I have to do is copy one of the things I underlined. Okay. You don't have to write all of your um, text evidence. Chores, teach, oops, not teacher, teach children how to be responsible. And again, I underline things like that because now I know I can spell this word correctly because it's in your Okay. Now your job is you're going to read this passage about using electronics right before bedtime. Hmm. And then you're going to do the same thing with questions three and four, and this is going to be your discussion post. Okay. So you're going to read the passage. What is the author's point of view on using electronics? So do you think the author thinks they should use electronics or should not? The author thinks children should use electronics. The author thinks children should not use electronics before bed. And then again, with your text evidence, pull one piece of evidence. So you can write it on here or you can just type it. Answers three and four need to be in complete sentences, capital letters and ending marks. And have your words spelled correctly because it's in the text, okay? The author thinks kids should use electronics or should not use electronics before bed. And then you would just pull out one of your pieces of evidence. Okay? And that is your discussion post. Remember, point of view is how someone thinks or feels.